तो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम मैक्सिमम लेंथ सो गिवन द मैक्सिमम अकरेंसेस ऑफ ए बी एंड सी इन अ स्ट्रिंग योर टास्क इज टू मेक द लार्जेस्ट लेंथ स्ट्रिंग कंटेनिंग ओनली ए बी एंड सी सच दैट नो थ्री कंसेक्यूटिव कैरेक्टर्स आर सेम रिटर्न द लॉन्गेस्ट पॉसिबल स्ट्रिंग लेंथ सो लेट्स डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन विद एन एग्जांपल तो व्हाट वी वांट वी आर गिवन थ्री इंटीजर ए बी एंड सी and we want such that no three consecutive characters should be same okay so let's say i have test case let's understand with the test case we have a is equals to 3 b is equals to 3 and c is equals to 3 so i can make a string like a b c a b c a b c or i can make a a b b c c can i make a a b b b c c c no this is not valid why this is not valid why because here we have one consecutive character okay two same character allowed three same character are not allowed. so so this is so answer will be like this this so this so one thing also you have to understand the question is longest length okay maximum length but the this makes no sense of taking longest length why because we are not allowed to remove character whatever characters are available are we able to make a string or are we not able to make a string if we are any way able to make a string answer will be a plus b plus c why because whole string will be the answer if we are not able to make a string answer will be minus 1 so there is no sense about longest length because longest length like we can't remove a character two character uh, or three character so we can't remove characters that's why either answer is possible or either answer is not possible we have only two possibilities a plus b plus c answer either full length string or either minus 1 okay so this is a question so first let's understand the intuition like How can we approach this question? Like, let's understand. Let's say I have three A's. So I want that these three A's should not be consecutive. So what I can do? What best I can do? So what I can do? Let's take this A. Let's separate it, and in between add some character B and C, any anything. So in this way, in this way, these two A are here, and this one A are. Okay. Why? Because if we have three A, this will not follow the condition. so i can't make a valid string so obviously what i will do i will separate the part such that such that uh, this string will become valid and no three consecutive a's are there okay similarly let's take another like a a a a a okay now here you can see like when i take uh, these six a so we have we have these three uh, these three a consecutive we have these three a consecutive so i don't want this so what i will say let's divide them into two two group because at max i can do i can divide into two two group because if i divide into three invalid if i divide into four so in between them in between them there is c group which is not valid so i can say at most at most i can make two two groups okay so these two these two these two and in between i add some random character let's say b b c c b c okay but i can triple I can't add triple B. Okay, why? Why? Because obviously, if I add triple B, this will become invalid. So I will say, okay. Question is just all about separate into two two groups and in between feed some of the characters. Okay, so this is the question. Okay. Some of the intuition you might get here, but let's get the intuition after having some observation. Okay, so now what I will do? Let's follow the step with me, like. Let's take the maximum of all. So maximum of all is eleven. Okay. So I will say okay. Maximum of all is eleven. Let's take it, and let's make this eleven divide into two two groups. So let's say I have eleven. So I have what I have eleven. Eleven A's. So let's write this eleven A's. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. Okay. So what at most I can do? At worst I can separate. it into two two ways okay so what i will do let's separate this into two two ways first this then this then this let's see let's take this one let's take this one okay so one character will be left in between so doesn't matter because we have 11 so in two two pair only five pairs can be made another will be left okay so can i take this a single a with this a no why because if i take this 
with this a, then these three will become consecutive. So my aim is only to divide into two two group and last one character will be left. Okay, no problem. Okay, so now in between them, in between them, I have to add b and c such that such that these strings will be separated. Okay, so how many elements are required? Tell me. One, two, three, four, and five. So I can say if I am able to add five characters, five or more characters, you can say if I am able to add five or more characters in between, then that means this string will be valid. Why? Because I have made them into two, two groups. It will never be into three group, four group, five group. So this is the way that I'm doing. Okay. So now let's add B. We have B here. Let's add B here. Let's add B here. In between, I am adding B here, B here, B here, B here. Now we are left with C also. Let's add C here. Now, you might think one question that let's have A, 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 A. So let me repeat this thing again. Why I am doing this two, two? As I already said, as I already said, because if we have three A's, these will be not consecutive. Th these will be consecutive. So I will say that if I'm able to add in between one character, so this string will become separate and will become valid. That's the question. Just boils down the question to what we have to do. We have to take a longest string, whatever longest. Let's say here we have B is equals to 11. Let's take this test case here. Okay. Let's take this test case. So B is equals to 11. So let's draw 11 Bs by separating them into two, two groups. And if last one left, let's add it singly. Okay. Now in between, I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five positions. So in between five positions, I want to add some character. So I have, I want what? Five characters. So how many characters I am left with? A is equals to two, C is equals to four. B I have taken. Then when I have A is equals to two, C is equals to four, that means six characters left. So I have more than five character. That means here answer will be A plus B plus C. Why? Why? Because we. So I have six characters. So that means I need only five character and I have six character. That means separation is possible. I will add A here. I will add A here. I will add A here. A here. Now we have no. Basically we have A is equals to two. So we can take only two A's. Then now we have C is equals to four. So I will add C here. I will add C here. I will add C here. Now one C is left. I will add it as it is here, here. Doesn't matter. Okay. Now, what you can understand from that? So the question is all about take maximum one. Now, another question is why I'm only maximum? Okay. Let's say, take that S case like A is equal to zero, B is equal to four, and C is equal to 11. So you can see A is equal to zero. So it will, uh, doesn't matter here. Okay. Now B is equal to four. So instead of taking maximum character, let's take minimum character. So B, 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 B. Now in between B, B, what I can add 2C at most, not, not 3C. Why? Because if I add 3C, then, then what it will do? Then it will, because I, I can take only two characters at most. I can't take three. Okay. So now, now I will say, okay. Okay. So, so I will say I am left with eight, eight C's currently, eight C's currently. Okay. So let's say I add here, I add here. Now then, now I am left with a still what four C's. Okay. So now I can add anywhere. Now you can say add it here. I already said I have fixed them. I have fixed them. Okay. The question is about fix them. Okay. I am fixing. So we are left with four C. I can't it anywhere. So if I add it here, if I add it here, so I have no option. So I will say, okay, this is invalid string. So why I'm taking maximum character now you will get why? Because, because first, if maximum character is settled, first, if maximum character is settled, it will become easy because after settling the maximum characters in the groups, we need only five characters, one, two, three, four, five. We need only five characters to make the string valid. Okay. So this is the intuition. Okay. So what the question is all about? Question is all about that. Take two, two groups, take two, two groups. So I am again repeating, take two, two groups. And after that, after that, 
in between add some of the characters okay so after adding some of the characters the string will become valid only when 1 2 3 4 5 if i have more than equal to 5 characters if i have more than equal to 5 characters that is b plus c because i have taken a i am left with b plus c and if i have more than equal to if b plus c is more than equal to 5 character string will be valid so i will return a plus b plus c else i will return minus 1 so okay so so let me tell you the implementation part so implementation part is something like what we have to do we have to take first maximum of all secondly whichever is a maximum element whichever is a maximum element i want to divide it into two two groups okay one two 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 and at the end remaining with five character so i will say okay if a modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0 that means you have 7 divided by 2 i can make four group 2 2 here 2 here 2 here and 1 here so i will say okay modulo 2 is 7 by 2 that means if i have a modulo 2 is equal to 0 that means number of groups will be a by 2 otherwise what it will be a by 2 plus 1 okay so this is first thing now now if this whatever groups let's say i make the variable g these are groups so let's say i have a a a a a a and a here so number of groups are 1 2 3 and 4 so we have four groups so i want at at most means at least at least three splittings that means group minus 1 so if my b plus c is greater than or equal to group minus 1 that is group minus 1 are required groups and if b plus c are more that means we can add them easily okay so that means it is valid okay so i hope you get the intuition so let's code up the approach now we have three cases if a is greater or second b is greater or third c is greater otherwise okay just think like that okay we have three cases only now now within these three cases if a is greater so i will make two two grouping of what a only so i will make okay half of a is equal to if a modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0 a divided by 2 else a divided by 2 plus 1 because obviously one extra element will be left if let's say 7 by 2 7 by 2 is equal to 3 so but it will be 2 2 2 1 so i will make four groups okay so okay then i will say plus 1 okay so now what i will say if the number of groups that i'm making so let's say i have half of a left uh seven a's okay so i have a a two a's two a's two a's and one is so how many minimum splitting i require three one two three if three splitting at least possible three elements are available extra i will be done what elements because a are taken i am left with only b plus c so i will say okay if b c character will arrange between themselves so i will say okay so first thing first thing first thing because there are four group one two three four so i have to take only three splittings okay so i will say okay so number of splittings that are required will be half a minus one so i will say if required is less than or equal to b plus c that means in other way you can say if i have more than required more than required just return a plus b plus because you've got it similarly in others you will int half of b if a is greater now uh, obviously b is greater so i will make the grouping of b only so similarly i will do b by 2 b by 2 plus 1 okay and required will be is equals to half b minus 1 these number of splittings are required so if a plus c because i am left with a plus c b I have taken is greater than required obviously greater than equal to required return a plus b plus c similarly here half of c is equal to c modulo 2 is equal to 0 c by 2 c by 2 plus 1 i will say required is equal to half c minus 1 and if if b plus a is greater than is equal to required i will say okay return a plus b plus c in the else case because if if this case any of this case is not followed i will return minus one okay so let's try to compile in the code check whether it's working fine so let's submit the code 
Yes. So it's totally working fine. Now I know. You can write much better code than this. You can uh, make the sorting. You can take the greatest element. Just you. So there are many solutions that you can possible. So if you write, if you can write, just uh, write down in comment section. This was all about code. So if you like the explanation, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.